Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I was recently going through Spotify and I found this really cool album called Blue Eyes and bed -Sty. It was made, arranged by DJ Kappel where he made a mashup album using Frank Sinatra and the Notorious B.I.G. and I thought it was just super good. At first glance, you don't think Frank and uh, Biggie would get a lot, like, they would have a lot in common. Mainly because Sinatra, he was, uh, he was, uh, he was all suave. He was like a polished performer who was in the music scene in the mid 20th century. While Biggie was more gritty, he was more raw as a rapper when he rose to fame in the 90s. But upon closer inspection, they have extreme parallels between these two iconic musicians, which just make this album just, it just slaps so much. When growing up, both of them came from extremely humble beginnings. Sinatra grew up in Hoboken, New Jersey, with the son of Italian immigrants. His family was poor, he dropped out of high school, and he just wanted to pursue a career in music. Uh, when Biggie grew up, he grew up on Brooklyn, he dropped out of high school, and he turned to drug dealing before finding success as a rapper. Despite their difficult upbringings, both Sinatra and Biggie possessed immense talent and a drive to succeed. Sinatra concentrated on his singing skills in local nightclubs, eventually catching the attention of the band leader Tommy Dorsey. He went on to become one of the most successful and influential singers of the time, with a career spanning six decades. Biggie began rapping at a young age and was discovered by Sean Combs, aka Puff Daddy, in the early 1990s. He quickly became one of the most celebrated and respected rappers of his generation with his debut album, Ready to Die, now considered a classic to the genre. Another key parallel between Sinatra and Biggie was their ability to tell stories through their music. Sinatra was a master of interpreting songs and fusing them with emotion and depth. His renditions of ballads like My Way and Strangers of the Nights are legendary to this day. Biggie was also a super gifted storyteller, using his lyrics to paint vivid pictures of the life on the streets in Brooklyn. Songs like Juicy and Big Papa are still known to this day, as they talk about weaving tales of success, struggle, and triumph. Now, the key feature that really separates them is that Sinatra was known for his smooth, polished sound, while Biggie's voice was super rough and gritty. Sinatra's music was often romantic and sentimental, while Biggie's was more confrontational and explicit. Yet despite these differences, both artists were able to capture the spirit of their times and connect with audiences in profound ways. Sadly, both Sinatra and Biggie's lives were cut short. Sinatra died of a heart attack in 98 at the age of 82, while Biggie was tragically murdered in 97 at the age of 24. Their legacies, however, continue to endure. Sinatra is remembered as one of America's greatest singers of all time, a symbol of the glamour and sophistication of mid-century America, while Biggie, meanwhile, is revered as one of the pioneers of modern-day hip-hop, a voice for a generation of young people struggling to make their way in a harsh and unforgiving world. In conclusion, while Frank Sinatra and the Notorious B.I.G. may seem like very unlikely counterparts, there are undeniable parallels between these two iconic musicians. Both came from humble beginnings, possessed immense talent, and had a gift for storytelling through their music. Their legacies continue to inspire and influence new generations of artists, and their contributions to music will not be forgotten. I also dropped a link to the album if you're really interested in listening to it. I highly suggest it. It's a nice album. And that's the video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.